Cancer, this is your week ahead tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Ooh, okay. It is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Uh, Cancer, please take all this energy where it resonates in your life. It is an energy reading for you, after all. Feel free to leave comments down below. I love to know. And it's timeless, so this message comes to you at exactly the right time. I am going to mention some things that are happening in the week that I upload it, but all that means is that if you're watching this and it's two years later, go back and see what was happening on that date because it relates to this reading. Um, if you want to know the full astrology breakdown for this time, for this moment, go follow me over on Astrology Motivation, my second YouTube channel, because I do weekly astrology forecasts for every zodiac sign every week. So if you love astrology, you'll love that. What, what, what is this? Let me say this to you. <laughs> I know a lot of my Cancerians just have a romantic heart. And I love y'all. But then there are other Cancerians, a little bit more like me, who are, when it comes to like that romantic stuff, I don't give a shit. You know, I, I, I'm looking to make money. You know, I'm like, I'm looking to make, I'm looking to make my, I'm looking to build my empire kind of, you know, like we are the cardinal of the crabs, you know, and, and, and so you guys, this message is still for you too, because what this means is this there, that there is somebody who wants you, somebody who you belong with and somebody who is willing to commit to you. But yes, that can also be in work. That can also be it, signing contracts, right? This is saying you gonna get the contract. Somebody believes in you enough to tie themselves to you. You're gonna get the contract. Now, it does say wedding, so I'm not gonna say that it isn't implying that this week there could be somebody that you meet that's very special, or I don't know, because you know these cards. Come along with me. Sometimes they can trick your ass. They'd be like, oh, it's a wedding. Oh, my God. Oh, and then I start to go into tarot when it's like, oh, the person that broke your heart is getting married. You know, so we never know. So let's see. <laughs> you know, you know what tarot does. So let's see where this takes us. God. What about the wedding? what I tell you it never happened <laughs> it's like it's like I've been waiting forever and it is just doesn't happen or it just didn't work out or nothing I do is actually working or I don't know maybe you guys were planning a wedding or planning to go to one and no matter what you did no matter what happened, something just would not did not get off the ground it kept churning and churning and churning now, the good news about that card is that it did end up a little bit, a little bit in the past. So maybe all that stuff has already happened, but let's see. We have a celebration. So maybe it's good that something did not work out because guess what? What this is saying is how much actually almost gave me the chills. Something, you wanted it so bad. You wanted this connection so bad. You're going to be celebrating that it didn't happen. This is this is a Jesus just saved your life moment. And, th and it may not happen this moment. But what happens in this moment is you realize it. You're like, oh my God. What if? Like, I kept trying and trying and trying and it just, it wouldn't come true. It wouldn't happen. And I probably complained and I probably yelled at God. Probably even left some nasty comments here as Cancerians often do. Keep telling us things are going to happen, but it never happens to me. You know why, bitch? Because Jesus was saving your life. Some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers. And you know how stubborn we can get because we want it. Because we want it doesn't mean it's good for us. And God has a higher perspective. 
So this is when the aha moment happens, when you're like, oh, 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 I'm so sorry, God. Thank you so much. And oh, I am so loved. I am so loved. Because this is a sense of, look where I was headed. I'm here cursing God's name and blaspheming and screaming that Jesus don't love me. Nobody loves me. I'm so unfortunate because my car broke on the other side of the road and I can't get, and I'm cold and I had to take a, a cab home and, and there was a fucking cliff up ahead. Or there was a bus that was going to run you off the road. Maybe somebody else, maybe the, the bus turned it over on itself but you weren't there you know you hear a lot of stories like this about 9-11 I grew up right outside New York and you know there's it was very it was personal to everybody but it was so close to home for me and so so many people that I know commuted in because that's where I'm from like the commuterville to Manhattan story after story of I was so pissed I was running late, my kid wouldn't stop crying, I couldn't drop him off at daycare on time, I was so embarrassed, but because I got on that train late, I was not in that building. You see? And that is the, oh my God. I didn't realize how much God was on my side. I didn't realize how much I was actually being protected and my prayers were being answered because if I wasn't prevented from what would have destroyed me, I would never get to the point where I could experience my dreams coming true. And this is the day that you realize it. Ooh, either that or a wedding that was planned, they're about to break up. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I'll give you the deep and I'll give you the shallow. Just FYI. Let's keep going. Let's get... You're going to be around. You're going to be around to enjoy the abundance. You're going to be around to enjoy the happiness. You're going to be around... This is real. This is real for you. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles here. This could have something also to do with a house or referring to a house or money coming in by the sale of a house. It doesn't have to be a house, though. Money coming in. Some sort of money coming in because of a new start after a huge breakdown. Now, yes, you are correct when you say that is very general, Michelle. Um, part of that is because this is a general reading. But let's try to dig down. Anytime I see the tower, I really like to dig down. So let's let's dig down. What is this tower, God? You don't something something doesn't happen. Some either with a page of cups, somebody was irresponsible, somebody was like a fuck boy, you know. Somebody it wasn't meant to last. It wasn't meant to be forever. It wasn't meant to you know, there there could have been the relationship that just wasn't meant to be. That's kind of what it is, it's like a, a love thing that just wasn't meant to be. Maybe a, a wedding or a marriage that kind of like wasn't meant to be. A togetherness that wasn't meant to be. An offer that was sort of just shallow, right? It was fun while it lasted. Maybe you were together for a while, but it wasn't meant to be long term. And as sad as that could be, I don't know. What's this tower? Can you just, just, can you just, um, could also be somebody acting irresponsibly and yet somehow, some way, Jesus saves your life. What is the tower exactly, please? Can you tell me exactly what is this tower? Um, something with a job, something with somebody's job, a career that somebody was going after, initiative that somebody was going after, um, um, trying to go after or or get a, sort of a, a bosses or an executives or an official or a, some sort of leader's attention um, could have been action that was taken toward somebody with money or by money action moving forward um, so this is a sense of a breakthrough happening 
a new a new option or new opportunity or just a clean slate happening why is the page of cups in reverse though like what is that about oh because somebody left you behind it's like it's like you weren't mature enough yet you weren't ready even though you thought you were ready you weren't you wasn't ready um this could have also been leaving somebody behind, a decision to leave somebody behind instead of matrimony, instead of instead of taking them along with you. All right, let's get into the details, shall we? Oh, you know what? Since there is gonna be a new moon, let's pull a moon card. I pull a moon card every week anyway for you guys. We have your commitment is being tested, you think? <laughs> yeah, it's like, basically what it's saying is do you really want this how badly do you want it and I don't think that we ever really discussed this but it's okay to realize you know what I don't want it that badly anymore I mean it's okay I think especially as Cancerians we feel obligated to make other people happy right so there's a sense of if we started off doing something oh then we we have to do it until they don't want us anymore and that's just not true like th there could be like an awakening when you realize I'm not into this anymore my feelings have changed I I'm not just I'm not I'm not here I'm not here anymore I'm not with it anymore I don't want this to go on forever right your commitment is being being tested and that's when you finally admit it to yourself this is when you finally realize it and say okay or by the next full moon this is when you've had a change of heart well, we also had a full moon eclipse two, two weeks ago, right? We just talked about that. Oh, I talked about that in the astrology reading. Okay, I apologize. So, it was around there. It was around that time when you thought, when you started to realize, I don't, I think I've changed. What I wanted has changed the direction that I wanted to go in. And that really put a pressure on whatever I had committed myself to, whether it was a relationship or a job, this sense of, I want to go in this different direction. This could also be that something that happens that really changes things and all of a sudden something explodes. It's like, do you want it as much as you thought you did? Now that you know how hurtful it could be or how dangerous it could be or how unstable it is, it's almost like you're going to get a glimpse, like Jesus saved your life, right? You're going to get a glimpse of, oh, that's what's really going on in there? Then maybe I don't want to enter that kind of energy. Don't let pride get in your way. And pride is that energy of, oh, no, I, I told them that I'd stay, so I'm going to stay. A lot of times we think of that as integrity. No, that's, but it's only integrity if it's true like I do want to stay I'm gonna stick it out but if I have totally lost heart and I don't care about it anymore but I'm still looking somebody in the eye and saying oh I care I care because I don't want to be called a liar or I don't want to be a failure or I don't want you to call me a cheater that's your pride that is not your integrity that is your pride you need to be honest with people and honest primarily with yourself yeah my 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 position has changed here and I really don't want this I don't deserve this I don't want it and get out is what it's saying because pride might keep you in a place that's actually bad for you and then believe in the impossible what the hell does that mean what a roller coaster the God has got us on today what does that mean what does that mean something with going off on your own something that maybe you've been looking into investigating searching trying to figure out uh, maybe work right believe in the impossible the hierophant is here and the hanged man so maybe there's just a sense of money could be tied up for you and you might have more work to do but ultimately believe in the impossible in that what's what is impossible it's impossible that i am lucky when this is happening to me it's impossible that i'm actually fortunate when this is happening to me. no this is the fortune this is the luck because it's your pride that's pushing you in the wrong direction and it's god that's making sure you don't get killed that's what I'm trying to say. Let's go to the extended because I got a lot more to go. The link is down below in the description box. It's also pinned to the top of the comment section. It might be this week. It might not. Um, 
oh, but it's always up here in the in the little cards that come out. Um, also, if you are on a television set, you don't have access to any of those links. So please grab your cell phone, your laptop, or go to your desktop. All those versions of YouTube have these active live links. Come on over. I'll meet you in the extended.